What are the qualifications of a great manager? In most businesses, if you were looking to hire somebody to run your business, you would take great care to make sure you hired the right person. Before you even started looking for that person, you'd likely put together a job description or a list of qualifications. You'd be smart to have a good idea of what kind of experience that person would need to do a great job. And you'd probably have some idea of the personality traits your ideal candidate would have. It's no different when you're hiring your manager. In the music business, anybody can call themselves a manager, and many do. Saying I'm a manager is no guarantee that that person has the qualifications and experience to be a successful manager for you. It will be up to you to sort fact from fiction, the big talkers versus the big deliverers, and make sure you hire a manager that can truly help you build a successful career. The best way to do that, I think, is to understand what qualifications to look for in a manager. So let's talk about that right now. There's a number of skills. Let's start at the top. Your manager will need to possess basic business skills. Your manager will need some marketing skills. If you've made some great music, bringing attention to you and your music is what's going to help you stand out from the crowd. So it's going to be important that your manager have a good sense of who you are as an artist and a clear idea of how to present your music and your image in a compelling way. He or she needs to have an understanding of how music is marketed and sold and what it takes to do that in the music business. A manager needs to have a fundamental understanding of money and finance. We talked about earlier, getting the money is a key part of a manager's role, so it's important that the manager has something of a bottom line mentality. Focusing on how to increase income is part of the equation. Controlling expenses is another. Being able to add and subtract is one thing. Being able to say no when things don't add up is quite another. And your manager better be able to do that if you're going to walk away from this music business with any dough in your pocket. Your manager should be experienced in all the key areas of the music business. Understanding how record labels and music publishing companies work, who does what and why is hugely important. When a record label or a publisher commits to spend millions of dollars on an artist, they want to know that there is an experienced manager on board to hedge their bets. An experienced manager gets more out of record labels and publishers because they know what to ask for and when. If you're a performer, you want to know that your manager understands the live business because that's where you will make a big chunk of your income if you're successful. So if your manager booked gigs or was a promoter at some point or worked on the road, that kind of experience will put money in your pocket at the end of the day. And it takes time to get that experience. That's why more often than not, you'll find that the top managers are in their 30s, 40s, and 50s. And that experience provides perspective and it leads to better decisions. So many times things are not quite what they appear to be in the music business and the experienced eye will see what the inexperienced eye misses. We've all heard the expression, it's not what you know, it's who you know that counts. And that's definitely true in the music business. A great manager will have deep contacts in the music industry. This music business has always been a small, clubby little business where getting access is really difficult. If you're an artist looking to get signed to a record deal or a publishing deal, you can waste a lot of time talking to scouts and folks who know somebody at the label, but if you can get to the real decision makers, that's the key. An experienced manager will have existing relationships with key players in all those key positions, whether it's a label folks, agents, publishers, radio programmers, publicists, photographers, or music tech companies. Having relationships at a high level can fast track the process and get you to that great yes or even a no much faster so that you can move on. A great manager needs to think strategically. They have to have a clear sense of where you are as an artist, where you want to be, and what it's going to take to get you there, and then go out and put all those pieces together. That requires a command of the big picture, as well as the nuts and bolts that it takes to make those things happen.
A great manager will have an analytical mind and the ability to look dispassionately at the issues from all sides and pick the right idea at the right time, no matter where it came from, and then go out and make it happen. A great manager needs to understand the competing agendas at play in every situation and have the political skills to manage that result to your benefit. Winning the war, not every battle is what's important, and that will require a lot of calculation and a lot of strategic thinking. Hiring your manager is like hiring the CEO of your business. Before you think about who you want to hire, think about what you'll need that person to do and make sure they're qualified. It's one of the most important decisions you're ever going to make.